I got called to shovel. Uh, I don't have to tell you what's going on here. This farm, this house, it's a hobby farm, horses. Uh, as soon as I tested, I told them they had to be The daughter was being treated for a condition of depression. They would actually have to take her away in the night sometimes with panic attacks. It all started off the wind turbines. This home is seven kilometers from wind turbines. It is right across the road from the substation. Three of the homes that are being affected that I've been working on up there across the road from the substation, they are not near turbines. And what's happening is high frequency is coming from the turbines and then the substation coming out because the, the, the substations are, are using power and the power that's feeding the substation is feeding these homes. Right. And they, these people, uh, I told them to get out, get out. I says, I've worked on this in Ripley, you cannot stay in this home. You are going to get so sick. And so they finally did. They moved. Pat's already one of the first things that recognized it. One of the homes in Ripley, a uh, guy had a big combine in his shed. First time in 13 years, he never had any mice in him. There were mice or rats in the combine. <laughs> they will not go into an environment. I work with VFDs, terrible speed mowers, and dairy farms. And if they're not wired, right, cats and dogs will not go in those barns. There's a frequency that is above our hearing range. I said the dog whistle and it drives you crazy. And it's, uh, and they're having trouble with their horses here and their pets. And they moved their pets out actually before they moved it. So uh, there's, there's a lot. Of, so what I, what I did at this home, I says, well, it's got to it's be coming. We've got the power shut off to your place. And I says, it's got to be coming out of the substation. So I went across the road to the substation. There happened to be a pole there with the ground wire coming down it, so I hooked onto it. Heaven forbid. They wouldn't be doing any of that, would they? Anyway, this is another wind farm. Uh, this is sick to floor in this home. This family is very sick. Uh, I, if it hadn't been for hiding one in this home, um, they were actually getting voltage from the steel stake to the steel in the barn of 65 volts from the old man. This guy lost uh, eight cows, I think. It was eight beef cows. They had calves dying when they were being born. And Hydro One uh, actually went out to the wind farm and said, you guys have wired this wrong. They dead end the neutral of this guy's farm, which they shouldn't have done. And uh, so uh, Hydro One actually got it fixed better, but it's still not right. So, I'm full of baloney, right? No credentials and don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, here's, <clears throat> out of, this is out of India, engineer, electrical and electronics engineering. And I'm gonna read what it says. The operation of wind turbines has an impact on the power quality at the connected electric network. The integration of wind and electric generators with the power grid becomes a headache for power engineers in several aspects. Harmonic distortion is one of the most important phenomena which will affect grid performance. It goes on and on and on and tells you everything that I've discovered. This is the Ripley Wind Farm. This is how they interconnected the homes. And the, the, the silly thing was, that, tell you what, how these companies work. It's all about money. That's all it's about, okay? 39 kilometers of line from the turbines to the substation. At the substation, the hydro's cleaned up, cleaned up. There's filters there before it's sent out. Okay, so 39 kilometers of collection lines. They buried 30 kilometers of it, took nine kilometers above ground. And where they took it above ground, every one of those homes interconnected there with the problems. Now, wouldn't you think they would bury the nine kilometers first? We have begged, and now I think we're on our third site manager now. Well, I don't know anything. Surprise me. Uh, this is talking about the infrasound, and this is what Joan Morris is talking about, and I think what Nikki's been affected by. Because these, uh, what happens when you get electrically sensitive? Uh, one of the ladies is a teacher, and she has a hard time now in her school. The schools are so polluted. Um, most of the, the, the three of the families, they have trouble even going into uh, big box stores now, because their symptoms come back. And I, I work with people like that. I tell them it's like a peanut allergy. You get it, you have it for life. Uh, the only thing you can do is if you're into, you know, maybe heavy metal detox. Some people have to go to get trying to get the mercury out of your body. There's 
but it's it's very very serious. We're going, you're going to hear more about this, so you're going to have to protect yourself and your children. Uh, government is going to. Okay. Yeah, this one here. Okay. I'm not going to read this all. There's one sentence I got to read to you. The managing. Uh, what happened is Suncor built the project in Ripley. As soon as it was built, they settled it to half interest to a Spanish company called Asiona. There's an Australian article here. For 35 years, Noel and Janine Dean lived on a small Western Victoria farm where they raised crops, cattle, and three children. Um, they got wind turbines near them and they had to move. This is in Australia, okay? Here's a quote from Asiona. We've dealt with Asiona and Asiona keeps telling us there's no problems. Nowhere else is there problems. Nobody else is having problems. Here's a quote from the Asiona representative in Australia. It is a notion that Asiona, the energy company behind the Wabera wind farm, firmly rejects. They say that uh, there is no clear, consistent scientific data, nor a peer-reviewed expert scientific consensus to confirm a casual association between modern wind turbines, low frequency noise, and health concerns. I seen that, my blood boiled. I thought, you know, it's like I told my children, get a job where you don't have to lie to get a paycheck, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna sum this up, wind turbines, Make waves, why do they get sick? Some of it's sound waves, some of it's electrical, electromagnetic waves. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, this is for the guys that have leased the land in this room. When they come on your property, do not leave their side, do not leave them at any time. Uh, even if you have to hire somebody to be there at all times when they're on your property, I warn you. Okay? Because you just gotta look after yourself. Tile, toxic waste, and we know they've done some stuff in certain areas. It's unbelievable that they've got away with. <clears throat> Decommissioning turbines, that's why I wish I had never signed up. Because believe me, these companies are gonna be flipped, 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 and then bankrupt. And you're gonna be stuck. And uh, they tell you that the scrap is going to pay to take it down. And right now, they, they, they're uh, talking, it's about 300000 to take one down. And they figure by the time the life of the wood turbine is done, it'll be one and a half million. And uh, do you know what they're going to say to you? Well, we paid you all these years, it's yours. Go to www.electricalpollution.com. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there for human health. And uh, thank you very much. Be here for questions later.